The geography of Asia. Asia is the largest continent in the world. This landmass technically includes the continent of Europe, which is a giant western peninsula of Asia. Due to the great cultural differences between countries in the east and west, geographers are willing to consider the two areas as separate continents. Together, Asia and Europe are called Eurasia. The islands in the Pacific Ocean that lie to the east of the Asian mainland are considered to be part of the Asian continent. These include the countries of Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, New Guinea, and Papua New Guinea. There are about 50 countries in Asia, including the huge countries of China and Russia. Asia is bounded by water on three sides. The Arctic Ocean lies to the north, the Pacific Ocean to the east, and the Indian Ocean to the south. With an extensive sea coast, Asia has many seas, including the Barents Sea in the north, the Bering Sea near Alaska. That's where a lot of our seafood comes from. It's very, very cold. The Sea of Japan, the East China Sea, the South China Sea, the Arabian Sea, and the Red Sea, plus the Bay of Bengal and the Persian Gulf. Europe lies to the west, and geographers set the boundary between Europe and Asia at what's called the Ural Mountains of Russia, the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, and the Caucasus Mountains which run between the Black and the Caspian Seas. Countries of the Middle East are all located on the Asian continent, so Asia also borders on the most easternmost, I'm sorry, shores of the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. An important feature of Asia is its mountains, the highest in the world. With a height around 30,000 feet, the Himalayan mountains dominate South Central Asia. Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, is situated in the Himalayas. In fact, overall Asia is the highest of the seven continents. The continent is characterized by high plateaus. The two most famous rivers of Asia are the Ganges of India and the Yangtze of China. China is also known for cold deserts where temperatures drop well below zero degrees Fahrenheit. China's deserts include the Gobi Desert of Mongolia in northern China, the Changtang on the plateau of Tibet in China, and China's Taklamakan Desert. Next you're going to use the text that you just read or listened to to answer the following questions about Asia's geography. Number one, the continent of Asia includes the A, Hawaiian Islands, B, the Japanese Islands, C, the Aleutian Islands, or D, all of the above. Number two, Eurasia is A, another name for the Middle East, B, the combined landmass of Europe and Asia, C, a peninsula of Asia, or D, none of the above. Number three, which ocean forms the northern border of Asia? Is it A, the Atlantic Ocean, B, the Pacific Ocean, C, the Indian Ocean, or D, the Arctic Ocean? Number four, a part of Asia borders on the A, the Red Sea, B, the Black Sea, C, the Caspian Sea, or D, Irish Sea. Number five, Mount Everest, which is the tallest mountain in the world, is in the A, Ural Mountains, B, the Himalaya Mountains, C, the Caucasus Mountains, or D, the Andes Mountains. 
And last, number six, the Ganges River is located in the country of A, China, B, Japan, C, India, or D, Indonesia. Boys and girls, I do want to remind you once again that all good readers go back and reread the text. It is okay to do. As a matter of fact, that is a very important step just to make sure that you have understood what you've read. These are text-dependent questions, meaning the questions um, are addressed in the text. So please, again, make sure that you go back through and um, justify your answers by locating the information in the text. Good luck.